a dream that it was some kind of, uh, I guess I can just say I was in a futuristic world, a spiritual world or something, but it was hard to explain. It was like these round circles, um, round circle, oh shoot, it was a game show like this. I'm trying to think. They had a lot of people sitting in some kind of square, but they were stacked in their own type of cubicles, like one on top of the other. But these cubicle things was round, and the out, outer part of it was a square, and it made up a bunch of squares that went on and on. I couldn't tell how how big. It, it just seemed to go on and on. And it was different uh, people in this, and I saw two of my two people I know two brothers well anyway I saw two people I know and I knew it was other family members there too and it was this place was ran by demons in human form it was ran by them and they were and the people like but every person was in one one of these cubicle things um just one person at a time and these demons was trying their best to give them all kind of equipment headphones tvs uh dvds um i mean i don't know just all kind of electrical equipment it was in real comfortable chairs but like these was comfortable chairs but they was like gaming chairs because it was video games and trying their best to get them really um enticed in all of these things so that they would not be able to know their surroundings and i went there and i went up to it was a when you go there it's some kind of a reception decks or something and i went up to it and i was talking to the person behind the counter which i don't know if it was a male or female and the person looked purple their skin was purple with dots on it like from the movies or something. I don't know what this was, but I went up to and I was wearing my regular black militant uniform. I've seen myself in many times as 144,000, you know, that God will send me into the earth with that uniform. And I, I know a lot of people are having problems with me talking about the 144,000. So I try not to talk about it, but because I know they don't understand because I'm a female. <sighs> I'll put a video in a description box that just helps to explain that. And um, anyway, so I'm talking to this person and I was, I had to, they, they was trying to put me in one of these cubicle things. So they put me into one of these cubicle things and immediately I was like, what is this? Like, I I didn't fall for any of it. Like, none of the electronics or nothing. And I said, no, I'm getting out of here and I'm going to wake up my family. Because I was trying to see what was going on. It was like I was curious. I said, what is this place? So then I went and I tried to wake up my family and everything. And I told them what was going on. That they was trying to get them. The, I think I used the word mesmerized in a dream. I'm almost positive I used the word mesmerized. Yes. And I said they was trying to mesmer get them all like mesmerized and and all of these different things. And also in the dream there was these demons. Oh, like they was trying to do sexual things. Like I didn't see actual nudity, but I knew they was naked. And they was trying to entice them into sexual sexual things too, sexual temptations and stuff like that. And I, I would even see like different people in these different pots. It wasn't just my family. It was like this went on and on and on. I think it just represented the world. And I would see them like, oh, ah, like looking at stuff like, wow. And they was all mesmerized by it and caught up in it. And it was to it was doing that to keep them from being aware of the end days. So that's that was the whole thing to keep them from being aware of what was happening in the end days. And they was really after, and that's why I have to say the 144,000 in this dream. When I have a dream and it's said to me, I try to always say it. Sometimes I have a feeling of it, but this was actually said in the dream. 
And they was after the 144,000. They really wanted to get us mesmerized. That's what they were so trying their best to get me in this room and get me mesmerized. But I didn't fall for it at all. Like, not at all. Not even a second. Like, I looked at the electronics and stuff and I, I saw what was on the screen. I was like, ugh, I'm out of here. And I turned around, I hurried up and left and got out of there. But they was trying to really go after the 144,000 and get them all mesmerized in their stuff you know their movies and entertainment and sexual desires and video games and I saw all of that in this dream it was really something so yeah I woke up my family I told them what was happening and I had a knowing in a dream that one of my relatives is supposed to be like me he's supposed to be like 144,000 but he's mesmerized in all of this stuff mesmerized in, in this tv and stuff i've i've had so many dreams about him lately this is so weird i mean i don't know why but god keeps giving me dreams about him i don't post them because they're personal but here's another one he was all mesmerizing his stuff watching his stuff and everything and it was eating too uh, let me f not forget to that and say that like i saw him stuffing his mouth with something that looked like popcorn and it could have been something else, but I, it was, it was, his mouth was, when the dream focused in on it, his mouth was really wide. Like his cheeks was really full is what I'm trying to say. He was really eating a lot. And that's what they, they was enticing them with anything they can entice them with. And I knew that these, this place was ran total by demons. Some of them was in human form and some of them looked like some type of alien. So anyway... And when I say alien, I'm talking about, of course, demonic aliens. And so anyway, I woke them up and then I was telling them what happened and they was woke and they was like, oh, wow, what? And they was listening to me. And at least they was acting like they was listening to me. And as I'm talking to them, they was turning their electronic devices back on. I'm like, oh, wow, wow. And I was like, wake up, wake up and understand that we're in the end days. Get up from here. And then the, I, it, the way the dream ended, they was just getting messed. They was going back into mess, being messed with us again. So look, you guys, I ask that you pray for my family. And please pray for all the saints in general. Because the devil, you know, one thing also that I saw, it wasn't just ungodly, necessarily ungodly stuff, you know. And this ties into a dream that I couldn't release because it was way too much information um, that was personal about somebody I know. But this is a, this pretty much ties into that because it was also just getting caught up in things that were done to keep the focus. That's what this dream showed me was to keep their focus off the things, the matters of the end days to get in right with God. And that could be simple things like wedding videos. Okay. That can be simple things like a harmless book. That can be simple things that is done to keep people mesmerized in that. So they will take their focus off the end days. Okay. That is what I'm being shown. And I, I know a lot of times, because I know this particular, one of these particular family members, I've talked to him when it, when we was talking, he doesn't talk to me anymore, unfortunately. But anyway, when we was talking, I talked to him about these things. He's all, oh, it's harmless, it's harmless. And yes, it seems harmless, but it was literally done by demons to keep their mind off the things of God. Because you may need to warn somebody about what's coming. You may need to get ready yourself. You know, anything they, it was done to keep their focus off these end days. And in a dream, I, the word end days was said to me. OK. And especially it was going after the one hundred and forty four thousand. So be careful, you guys. I love you all. God bless you. Bye.